And finally, George Michael and Boy George help a father keep a promise to his dead daughter. Natasha Anastasiadis was singer-songwriter and she was killed in a car crash in 2005. She was 22 years old. Well, Natasha, who was from Wood Green, had produced music which her father swore would be published. Well, thanks to his seven-year labour of love and that help from the stars, it will. The full story now from our entertainment correspondent, Lucrezia Millerini. Uh, she said, Dad, you haven't written any songs for me. And I said, you know I wrote, wrote my love. She says, yeah, but I didn't, you know, aren't you going to write any more? And I said, we've got all the time in the world. And then, of course, that never happened mm -hmm. until later, type of thing. Mario Anastasiadi shared his daughter's passion. They both loved music, but neither knew just how little time was left. I just want to hear Lyrics to this song tell of the last goodbye from a mother to her child. Even more poignant that these would be the last ever written by Natasha Anastadiades. She finished the track on the morning of the day she died. It was Mother's Day 2005. Just days later, a version she'd recorded onto dictaphone was found by her parents. It now forms the basis of a tribute album dedicated in her memory. It took um, a few months. But inside me, I had this thing that I promised my daughter that her album would be heard. Mm. Her music would be heard to the world. And uh, it's taken all these years to be able to come to the level where we are at. The album features many of Natasha's own tracks. Others were a gift from some of the industry's biggest names. This one from George Michael. Small town, big man, fresh lipstick, yes. Other contributors include Boy George, Blues Anthony Costa, and Marcella Detroit. In the months before her death, Natasha came close to signing that record deal she strived for, but her talent was noticed much earlier as a pupil at West London's Sylvia Young Theatre School. What are your memories of Natasha? What kind of a student was she? She was a delightful student, Natasha was. Um, bright, happy, very friendly, talented girl. And this is the first time that you've opened her folder since she left? Well, she wrote a little note to us when she left. It was rather sweet and I found it in the file and, and she says, um, I want to take my time to sort out my life and career. I will also see my best friend Lara four times every week. I'll keep singing and I pray I will hopefully reach the stars. Bye, everyone. See you there. That's a really very poignant. While she has kept on singing through the body of work she left behind, all the proceeds from the album, which is released to download on June the 25th, will go to the Natasha Foundation, a charity set up by her parents to raise road safety awareness. Lucrezia Millerini, London Tonight.